Hello Aquarius, let's go ahead and get started with your monthly April reading. Spirit, please show me Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? You guys now have Pluto in your sign for the next 20 years. It obviously does go retrograde in June, but then it will come back. So pay attention to the themes that are going on right now, because this is going to be a prelude to the next 20 years of your life and what you'll be working on subconsciously. <clears throat> Pluto is one of those outer planets that works on the subconscious level to help you go through a lot of breakthroughs so that you can see where you've been being held back. So April for the month, or I'm sorry, for Aquarius spirit. Wow. Okay. Too many cards. I'm going to put these back. Spirit, please show me Aquarius for the month of April. There we go. Okay. So what did we get here and now being in the moment, paying attention to the red flags, Let's go ahead and see what that card has to say. It is the number 32. So yes, major changes are happening for you right now, Aquarius. And this card says, being fully present in the moment, living one day at a time. Everything happens in the now, in the present. Only this moment counts. You have what it takes to handle anything today if you let go of the need to look into the future or reflect on the past. Be present and notice what is going on right now. This very moment has the potential for you to create miracles in your life. So paying attention to the things that have happened in the past that could be holding you back in your present moments as well. Spirit, please show me what does this entail for the Aquarians. Aquarius for the month of April, we've got release, so death and transformation. Let go of the past, an ending that makes way for new opportunities. Time to move on, okay? And that is the death card. So it talks about the past. We've got the past here now twice. If you look right there, it says the past or the future. Which way are you going to go? Learn from the past so that you don't repeat your cycles in the future. Spirit, please show me Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius. Wow, three of winter. All right, harsh energy. So we've got reach out to others for comfort and love. You will grow stronger from this situation. Sadness that will heal with time. Spirit, please show me Aquarius for the month of April. All right, what did we get? Wow, we got the Prince of Spring, charming, self-confident, passionate, and restless. Immediate action, a challenge you can successfully manage, a passionate new relationship. Okay, um, even if it's like, <clears throat> I think for a lot of you, maybe you've been a hermit for a while. For some of you, you could very well be single. You could have walked away from a person in the past. Okay, it does say... Find or be a mentor, take a break from society, a commitment to your spiritual growth. So you do have two major arcanas here, the Hermit and the Death card. So I feel like for a lot of you, if you did go through some major endings, you guys are trying to learn all there is to learn from this situation. And that's why you're kind of just a sitting duck. I mean, I don't think that that'll last for very long because I feel like at the end of the month, there's a new opportunity for growth, whether that's you walked away from a job, you walked away from a relationship, does not only have to be romantic, it could be also family, friends, you know, whatever. Spirit, please show me Aquarius for the month of April. What do they need to know? Yeah, Ten of Wands. You guys have been very burdened, tired, releasing those burdens, okay? They're not all yours to carry. Overworked, stressed, and imbalanced. Spirit, please show me Aquarius for the month of April. Heavy energies for you guys. You know, that must just be the transiting Aquarius. Four of Air. So you went from the Three of Winter to the Four of Winter, both Air cards, right? This is about meditation, recuperation, and contemplation. Contemplating what you're going to do in the future, not just making, you know, uh, making the same mistakes over and over and over again. Let's see. If, and that's clarifying the Three of Swords. So you go from the Three to the Four, which is really good. Um, there was some major endings with the 10 here after some time of chaos. Maybe there was some upheaval in your stability. All right. And what do we got here? Wow. The five of fire. So conflicts, annoyances, and competition. So this could also be, I'm almost getting for those of you who did walk away from a job, there could be some type of also on the job training that could be happening here. Okay. New job coming in. Um, and then we have the six of earth. So there it is. That's what I was saying. That's what I was kind of feeling was that there was like, if you did walk away from a job that wasn't paying you what you needed, 
um, in order to survive. Um, I feel like with the Six of Pentacles, there's going to be some reciprocity, give and take. You give energy, they give money. Money is also a form of energy. Um, I feel like you just need to be innovative about how you're going to make this money, but I do feel like there's a, a new interest. We have the a Prince of Spring and the Five of Spring, which gives me the Six of Spring, or Wands, however you want to say it. Um, I feel like this is a brand new opportunity for success, because we do have the Six here. So we do have, what is it? We've got the Four, the Five, or the Three, the Four, the Five, actually two fives here. So there has been some type of changes. We're missing, we have the six, we're missing seven, eight, and we have nine with the hermit, okay? For some of you, you did walk away from a relationship and have decided to stay single for a while, okay? So we're missing the seven and the eight, and the seven is, um, knowing that you're in the right place. Eight is material manifestation. We have the nine, which is don't give up. And then we have the 10, which is endings, which starts the cycle over again. <clears throat> so I do think that there will be some type of monies coming in. We've got you and your loved ones are safe. So for some of you who have walked away from a job uh, or a relationship, just know that, you know, everything is going to work out. Take this time to heal. Take a step back before you just go running into something. Um, I feel like this is, even though it may be a little rough for you, Aquarius, I feel like everything is working out perfect. You've got trust the universe. Yeah, trust the universe and blessings in abundance. Trust them. You know, I do feel like it, this situation is calling for you to have faith. That's what this is saying. It's like, you need to keep the faith. Like, that's what Aquarius is all about. Faith, hopes, wishes, dreams, um, you know, good health. Um, I feel like everything was going to come back to good health. So if there's anything that is ending for you right now, Aquarius, I do feel like it's actually um, putting you into alignment with something better. Spirit, please show me Aquarius's love life for the month of April. Your love life. Wow. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Spirit, please show me Aquarius' love life for the month of April. Yeah, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And one more for Aquarius. Wow, you deserve love. You are lovable. And at the bottom of the deck, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. For some of you, you've been single for a really long time. You've stayed optimistic. You've worked on yourself. And you realize that, you know what? I do deserve love. I deserve to be happy. And, and because of that, you're being put into alignment with someone who could be very long term. Now, if this is not about love, this could also be about a job. You know, you had to have your self-respect and walk away from a job that wasn't paying you what you needed. Maybe they were breadcrumbing you. You know, here's a little bit, here's a little bit. Um, and because of that, you had to walk away from this because it wasn't feeding the family. Uh, same thing in a relationship. Like if you had to walk away from a relationship, it's because you finally found that self-love. And maybe for some of you, you found yourself. This could be the one, could be you. And you've had to forgive and learn all your lessons. And as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Let's see what the angels have to say about this. Well, okay, passion. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it, okay? And the next card out, we've got forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events. There's that word again, the past. For life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So make sure that your thoughts and your ideas are all matching. Uh, make sure that they're of high vibration. You want to make sure that you are not, um, again, manifesting things from the past. It's all because of our thoughts creating our reality. And as an Aquarius, you are a manifester and you need to be very mindful about what you put out is going to come back, okay? Uh, all in all, I feel like you just need to trust the process. Whatever needs to leave your life at this time, allow it. For some of you, you definitely need to speak to some type of a mentor. It could be a counselor, a therapist, a psychic, an astrologer. Schedule a reading. I would love to help you through this. Um, 
uh, release anything that is not serving you. Honor the feelings that you're feeling, okay? Um, I know a lot of Aquarius is like to detach from their feelings, but I do feel like you are being asked to kind of delve into them a little bit. Get out of your head and get into your heart. Anyway, Aquarius, I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for watching if you are interested in a personal reading. All my information is in the description box down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. If this reading does not resonate with you, it, because it will not for all people, please check your other signs and feel free to cro cross watch for the people that you are dealing with. Anyway, you guys, I love you all so much. Happy April.